The following is a non-title casket match. Introducing first, from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 272 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, Triple H. The game is on, but this is not a game the World Heavyweight Champion is ready to play. Yeah, and Triple H's security blanket, Ric Flair, is not here tonight. And making his way to the ring, weighing in at 326 pounds, Kane! Kane seemingly with a smile on his face. This match is right up his alley. Seemingly smiling? I can see the gap between his teeth. This match is personal. It's not about titles here tonight. It's all about Kane getting some retribution from a morbidly disgusting human being. And why exactly is Triple H morbidly disgusting? Because of the disgusting, salacious videotape that he aired last week on this broadcast. Grabs the head. Kane making a move. Triple H making a move. Here we go with Kane. Kane making his statement as we speak. Triple H, one step ahead. Kane in trouble here. Nice move there by Kane to reverse it. Oh, man. Kane is in a bad mood tonight. Triple H is chipping away. Oh, oh man! Oh, man. Well, he was able to reverse and get out of that. Last week, right here on Raw, Kane and his tag team partner, Rob Van Dam, beat Triple H and Ric Flair, following an RVD five-star frog splash onto the Nature Boy. But the real story came after the match when Kane locked Triple H in the trunk of his car and drove off. Oh. Luckily for the game, he was able to eventually break free. I can only imagine what would have happened if Triple H had remained locked in that trunk. Oh, his spine bending and cracking from that backbreaker. Look at the force behind that leg drop. Oh, and he lands that one right to the head. Is there anything nastier than that move? Oh, you have to wonder what Katie Vick's family was thinking after learning of the video Triple H showed here last week on Raw. Well, I can only assume it has reopened the chapter in their lives they were hoping to keep closed, but I'm willing to bet they don't see things the same way Triple H does. The game has made some pretty serious allegations throughout this entire ordeal. Big trouble for Kane. Oh, mama! Katie Vick never saw it, Kane. He must have had a cool car or something. That's the only reason she'd ever go out with him. Are you kidding me, King? We're watching two of the six men that will be in the Elimination Chamber at Survivor Series, and you're talking about Kane's car? Well, the Elimination Chamber is going to be something else. I have got to be kidding me. Devastating. Simply devastating. This is the first... Uh -oh. And 
Kane looking to put Triple H away. Oh. Triple H though goes down low. And now Triple H looking for the pedigree. Oh, yeah. And he got it. Pedigree by Triple H. That casket is open. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this. Who is in the casket? Shawn Michaels is in the casket. Heartbreak Kid was in the casket. HBK comes out of the casket to become Triple H's worst nightmare. Get him out. We haven't seen Shawn Michaels since SummerSlam. Oh, he's back. Michaels is feeling it. Oh, look at this. Tune it up the band. Yeah. Oh, sweet chin music. The Heartbreak Kid, center stage. The showstopper to stop the show for Triple H. These two men are no strangers to battling each other in some rather unique match types. Of course, nobody will ever forget their inferno match just a few years ago on SmackDown. Yeah, these two guys couldn't warm up to each other if they were cremated together. How could you ever forget witnessing a superstar's arm going up in flames like Kane's did? Triple H knows how to polish off an opponent. Trying to put a spine buster. Uh oh, Triple H has him. Man, there's no getting up from that. And now look at this. Into the casket. He's almost got him. Trying to save himself. And now back to his feet. Let's not forget, King, these two superstars will be part of the first ever Elimination Chamber match at Survivor Series next month on pay-per-view. And you can add Chris Jericho, Booker T, Rob Van Dam, and Shawn Michaels to that match. Although earlier tonight, Triple H didn't seem to think HBK would be at 100% for the match. Well, he certainly looked to be in great shape last week when we talked to him live from the world. I'm enjoying Kane's work right here. After the humiliation from Triple H last week, I wouldn't blame Kane for anything he does to the game here tonight. Well, I think Kane has years of frustration built up. I think Kane was upset because the truth has finally come out. If he had just come clean in the beginning, none of this would have ever happened. All I know is these two men met at no mercy for the World Heavyweight Champ. And now look at this. Into the casket. He's almost got him. Trying to save himself. And now back to his feet. Triple H cannot beat Kane in a fair fight. There's no way in hell the game can beat Kane in a fair fight. Well, this is a fair fight, isn't it? And he's not beating him either, is he? Oh, look at the emotion. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. by Kane. Look at those eyes. Oh, yeah, this could be big. Uh-oh, look at this. Oh! Trying to put him away. What a maneuver. This match is not over. And oh, Kane going to oh. take advantage. Oh, Kane oh. wins. He's wrong, Triple H. Into Kane the casket. Wins. The casket is closed. The Big Red Monster, victorious with an assist.
from that man, Shawn Michaels. <laughs> Triple H is gonna rue the day that he assaulted Shawn Michaels with a sledgehammer back at SummerSlam. Well, the game should have known it was coming. Shawn Michaels warned him. Someday, sometime, someplace, he would get even. Tonight was the night. And look at this, Shawn Michaels dancing on top of the casket that holds the body of Triple H. How symbolic.